somebody else uh, you know, said attributed it that Biden had said these three objects were balloons, but the uh, you know the Pentagon rather forcefully pushed back on that with their most recent press conference, uh, you know, explicitly saying I would not categorize these as balloons right now, and so that's that to me suggests there were definitely characteristics or aspects about them. Whenever these objects were interrogated by the pilots, which, which what I mean by that is you sent other fighter aircraft up there to get close, look at it, see what it is. Uh, there were aspects about them that um, went against what you would expect to see with a balloon. I, I thought another really intriguing comment from uh, NORAD's commander was when he he did push back on that and say, you know, I'm calling the, these things objects for a reason. Uh, I would not categorize them as balloons. They may be, uh, they may be some type of objects that uh, you know have some gaseous substance, so helium something, you know, lighter than air that lifts them like a balloon uh, inside a structure. And so when he, you know, that comment alone suggests that there's something on the exterior of these that uh, is acting unlike what you would see with just a normal balloon. And so when you start considering, well, what does that mean? Um, you know, there's a couple of things. You know, for, for example, your, your normal balloon is not going to show up on infrared sensors. So IR sensors, that type of stuff is not going to produce uh, a return. Uh, normal balloons are not going to be very radio or excuse me, radar reflected. So you're not going to get good radar returns on them, that type of thing. So when they've gone to interrogate these objects, potentially uh, they have displayed IR characteristics or radar characteristics that are more consistent with a solid craft rather than some type of lighter than air mm -hmm. helium balloon propelled. Uh, I don't know, you know, but that's, we're, we're having to kind of interpret through uh, what, what we're hearing here. And the fact that um, I genuinely <laughs> at this point think that there is some mystery surrounding all of it, even for the Pentagon and everybody involved. I, I don't, really think that anybody conclusively knows what it is. And I think if it was a, you know, if it was a rogue car lot balloon, so some, you know, some giant car lot balloon that somebody let go and went in the air, these, that would, it would possess characteristics that when they went to interrogate it would, would be pretty obvious that it's a balloon. And so for some reason, there's aspects about, uh, you know, the objects that we have heard about in recent days that don't seem to fit that. You know, I, I even, it was reported in the New York Times, and then another person uh, out of the Pentagon told me, confirmed what had the New York Times was told, that at least with the Alaskan object, it, it broke apart. Mm -hmm. uh, so when it landed, it broke apart like you would expect. You know, the example I got, uh, I think the New York Times said broke into pieces. I was told it broke like glass, so like if you dropped a glass cup. And that's obviously not something you would expect with a rubberized balloon or balloon materials. So I don't know what we're looking at here.